Here's a quick tip how you can rotate vectors without dealing with quaternions or matrices or any of these shenanigans. But programmers, please look away now. So the way this works is, well, let's for example create a point. Let's create, and let's say it has this normal attribute, it's pointing in, in the Z direction, and we want to rotate it. So I can just use this transform node. Uh, center the pivot to, to the point so it, uh, you just type these three expressions and now I can rotate it any way I want to and if if I would like to use it for example to uh, copy this direction to to a line and so I get the direction pointing the same way as the vector I'll just use a, a point reading expression. So I'm reading uh, a point attribute from, from this node and it's the point zero obviously because I have only one and I'm reading the attribute normal and in her here I'm reading the first component and in here the second and in here the third one. So this way I get the normal attribute but now uh, the beauty of it is I can rotate it in degrees so I wanna rotate it 45 degrees so instead of typing this, these numbers I can just I'll rotate it 15 degrees 5 degrees and, and you'll see I'll, I'll get the vector direction in here so maybe for example let's say we have this kind of model and we would like to rotate the normals in, in, in degrees in some direction we can just use this, this point and just reset it we'll be just copying it to points so we're, we're just copying this point to, to the points of the model and now I can, I can just rotate it and all, all the normals rotate and you get this kind of effect and if you would like to get these, this attribute back to put to your model well since we're copying one point to each point we can just use the attribute copy and, and copy, copy the normal attribute and we we have it back on our model we transfer it or we actually copied the normal attribute to back to the mesh so as you can see now i'm rotating all the normals to to create this kind of effect and as you can see here is also my my line, so we'll see we see which direction the normals are pointing. All right, that's all for this quick tip. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.